Welcome to Make Beliefs Comics. This is a digital comic strip creator. We will be using this at times throughout the school year. This video will get you started on the basics. So to get here, please notice that this is called Make Beliefs, plural, comics, or they spell comics with the X. So if you go up here to the upper left, you can see the URL. All one word, makebeliefscomics.com. So what you get here, they are flashing Spanish and French because this is available in different languages. But you want to click where it says create your comics. That's this box right here. All right, so this is the comic strip creator. This starts off with a default of three panels. That's what they call each of these boxes. I'm going to have you do five panels for your first assignment for me. So you'd want to go to this little plus sign here, add, add until it says one through five. You can see that in white, I'm currently on panel five. So to start over, you can just click one. As I'm moving around, you notice that there is a red box highlighting this panel with some tasks underneath. That's the panel you're working on. What this thing does is only allows you to modify one panel at a time. So as you're trying to add content, if your box is highlighted around a different panel, that might be a little shock to you as your content gets added to the wrong place. So we're going to start on the first panel, which is why we're highlighting this first one. All right, so let's scroll down a little bit. Down here is the stuff you could add into your panels. So if you just want a plain background with a different color, you can come here to background color, choose the different colors you want. Uh, you might, though, want to have a pre-selected background, which is what we're going to go to here. And you can see we've got all different scenes here. We have some indoor scenes, some outdoor scenes. Moving to the right, you can see some desert, city. There's Washington, D.C. Then we have some black and white scenes. So just check through these. Uh, one of the best things you guys could do to get comfortable with this is just come play with it. I'm going to go very quickly through some of this, but come in and try it out. Learn how this works, trial and error. So let's pick that one there. If I want to go ahead and load up my next panel, I'll have to click up here on the panel and then add that background. And you can see how easy this is to add backgrounds. So let's go back to panel one. Next, I want to put in some characters. So you just click character. Takes a moment to load up. So you have all different characters. You can scroll left and right and check them out. Let's say this one here. So when I choose her, we have one with her eyes open, one with eyes closed. Let's do the eyes open. And then you can see she appears on my panel. Now, let's say I click this one too. You can see both of them are up here. Let's look at this little taskbar a little bit. So I have these two people here. If I only want one of them, I'm going to click delete. And you can see she disappears. If I click delete again and click that one, she'll disappear. And then if I clicked here, the background would disappear. So you could get rid of anything you add. But just be careful if I clicked here by accident, my background went away, I'd have to go find it and reinsert it. This is scale. If I hit scale and touch my character, I could make her bigger and smaller, so I might want her smaller to fit into this scene. Back to the front would be if I'm adding a bunch of other content here. I'll show you that after. And then flip. If I want her to face this way instead with her eyes, I hit flip. You can see now her body faces this way, but her eyes are this way. You can see I keep clicking and she keeps moving around. So that's characters. All right, now if I wanted to say something, we could go over here to balloons and prompts. These are all different sizes depending on how much text you want. So if I pick the big one, but all I want her to do is say, hey there. Now I've got this big text box with only two little words in it. This is not really the right thing to do. Now, yes, I could grab it. I could scale it down. But now you can't read my text. So what I think we should do here is hit delete, and get rid of that box. Let's try a smaller one. So now 
I put in. Hey there. And it's still not the right size box. You can see that there's still a lot of wasted space there, but play around, trial and error. Find a box here that works for you. The last thing I want you to look at for this basic demo is objects. So we go to objects. You can see all these different objects that I might want to add in. So maybe I want her to have that. And you can see it appears in there. I grab it. Let's uh, scale it down a little bit. So I click it. Make it a little bit smaller. Go back to move. And then I can put it in her hands. Okay. So now going to bring to front. If I click bring to front and click the woman, you can see now that object I added is behind her and she's in front of the text box. Then I can click that. So what this did is before my text box was covering up her hair. Now she's fully visible and then the object I want to be fully visible as well. So you can play around with that feature. So ladies and gentlemen, these are the basics of your digital comic strip. Add panels, Add background, bring in some characters, some objects, and give them some speech. Thank you very much.